I guess that I'm live now. What is happening, y'all? What is going on, guitar family? We're here. I made it. You guys see my teeth? Those teeth are looking mighty beautiful, Presley. Yeah, you know they are. Mm -hmm. I had to go to the dentist last week. Sometimes that'll keep you away. It'll keep you away from the microphone. One, two, check. Can you guys hear me? Make sure that my, my audibles are audible and that my uh, my beautiful music is musicable before we start jamming to the jam festival because we're going to a festival today. Yep, no one wanted to. You guys didn't even think you were going to a festival. What up, Paul? Paul McNary's in the house. Super cool, friendly, gentleman of a man with the beard. Yeah, but uh, we got Keith H. in the house hanging out with me. Dude, I appreciate you coming by. A lot of people avoid me purposefully. And so to you know you came here, Keith, makes me feel, makes me feel happy. Dave, Ch Paul McNary was the first here with a meow, 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 meow. Not that many cats tonight. I mean, it's, it's a good amount of cats, but I've seen, sometimes we've had a lot of cats. So look, I mean, we'll show you. That's how many cats we're dealing with. You know, it's not an overwhelming amount of cats. What is going on? Dave Chase saying hi to Paul. Uh, yeah, man. Um, so yeah, anyway, dentist is some bullshit. I'm assuming that you guys can all hear me and that you say, okay, cool. I appreciate you, Keith. Sounds good. Now let's see if <clears throat> if this makes it through. Let me know if you can hear my backing track and if it's too loud. Do, 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 boo, 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 boo. Is that loud? Quiet? Sounds good so far, Dave. Okay. Well, wait till I play guitar. I'm really gonna blow blow that away. I'm gonna take that and throw that right in the trash can with my playing. Cause you know that my playing it really ain't that good. Mm-hmm. But I still hang out. Man, I don't know why I keep getting these stupid notifications on this stupid laptop that's telling me such, such and such has been updated. First try. <laughs> well, hold on. We haven't got the guitar yet. This is Stonebreaker. Can you hear the guitar? Is it? How's the blend? Okay, sounds okay? I'm gonna go away on the vocal a little bit. Showed up, I'm glad that 
that you showed up. Now he's um, upset that he showed up. I'm sorry, Wayne. Telecaster Bridge. What? Oh, yeah, you see that. Three Saddle Telecaster Bridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Internet, let me know what you think about that. We got Single Single Hum. There's the hum. Guess what, guys? The hum does split. Single coil in the in the bridge. Let's stay there for a second. Skipping, but everything else sounds okay. This thing has a boost, check it out. Boost off. Boost on. Bridge boost on. Shouldn't have tried anything fancy. That was stupid of me. I tried to go like... Uh. <laughs> Wait, we gotta keep the guitar in here. For about an hour, just get up on stage if you have a good tone. That was stupid. You can't go that third whole, whole step up. Oh, oh, you'll probably just disgust at everybody. You don't go the third. You need to hit the minor. You gotta go for the minor on when you go there. Or you gotta go. It's difficult stuff, but it's fun once you get it down, right? Does everybody practice that same thing a whole bunch of times? So, but uh, what's going on, everybody? How's it going? 
you carried away rocking out with his favorite custom strat. Yeah. That he built for a few hundred bucks. Yes, that's exact. Yes. Wayne, that is the thing. That's what we're supposed to do. What up, Eddie? And guitar friends and family. What's going on, eh? What's uh, anybody building anything? Anybody buying anything? What's new in the guitar household here in our in our station? What's happening? Anybody got anything? <laughs> Right, let's go clean tongue but can this can this guitar do clean we don't know we're about to find out let's start out on the unboosted neck you guys almost want me to play metallica now right Sounds to me like that does a pretty good clean, right? So that's the neck. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, Bartolini's. Right, Wayne, the Bartolini's, it's not like I'm doing anything magic. Neck in the middle, it's got a really good... That, if I get rid... If, all right, so with that, get rid of the... With get rid of the reverb. And make it like... Could almost have a little bit of reverb in there, right? But it's got that chimey. A little bit more rounded on all the way up. Then we have the money spot in the middle. That, that works good for all that. Well, if I can only play. I need to hide the current, current comment. We got, what up, Monch? came by what up go what's going on so now we got let me come up here and read let me read the readicles here we got uh, to get um wisconsin to pick up on it oh nice my brother seems to have to have just lost the ambition yep mm-hmm i get it yep <laughs> what kind of amp hobo roadie seems pretty cool to, especially to get brother's gear i have my brother's guitar which just he knows how much i love guitar <coughs> and it was you know it was sitting somewhere where it shouldn't be i was like dude i need to have that guitar in my possession please um mm -hmm. yeah i mean for me the just last week was Super crazy, crazy busy. Friday went out to see a current pop star 
and drove way too far to go to a concert, but drove to a concert, actually went to a concert, which was cool. It was fun to go to a concert and get out, but um, spent way too much money. What? We got Ryan in the house. We got uh, Ryan. Check it out. My guitar's working. And it's, um, this is, you might think this is kind of cool, Ryan. I mean, it's nothing super cool, but it's a strat with a, um, Tele bridge done on it. And it's got a cool Bartolini active pickup setup that we've been going on. We've been going through and going through all the tones. What? We got royalty in the house. We got, we got Charles hanging out. Dude, Charles is here. He must be, he must be mobile. He must be mobile. Cause he'd be hanging out in the in the behind the scenes too if he was at the house. But uh, what is happening, dude? Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Hardtail, hardtail, and then um, with a boost. So we were doing so. Hmm. How best to do? Maybe the clean tone will show the boost off pretty good. International, dude. Thank you so by so much for coming by. You're the man. I need to do that. Play that backing track that you sent me. It's so good. Taking care of... Oh, dude, my wife is getting sick, too. So that's without the boost. Here comes the boost. So and that's on board. No boost. And you can roll it. There's it has a boost control. The third knob is not a tone. Yes, we have Wayne is here, right? One volume, one tone, my friend. Yes, it, and then that's where the coil split is on the tone for the uh, for the humbucker. But one volume, one tone, and then this is a once the boost is on, a boost level. Yeah, so that's a pretty fun little um, pickup setup that I got. Yes, 50 dB. dB. 50 dB. So here's the thing, Ryan. It doesn't work great with digital. Um, it works okay with digital stuff, but it works really, really good. I mean, really good with the tube amp. Um, you will, and you will enjoy the, um, you will enjoy it very much if you're sitting in front of a half stack or something else that is plugged in and juiced up and you have that ability uh, on board to kick it without even walking to a pedal. It's liberating. Cause then, especially if you're playing with other people, um, that are always too loud, you can set it up to where you can come up, come through it when you need to. So kind of cool. <laughs> Don't leave it plugged in because I didn't route in a a battery box. I just put it there. There was a holder that was built into the Bartolini setup that it goes in there under the pit guard. But you got to take the pit guard out to change your battery. But you get I think it's 150 hours per one nine volt. If you put in a really good nine volt, you'd be good for a long time. Unless you leave it plugged in. That's amazing, Ryan. You don't own digital, but you get so that killer sound that comes through your system on your computer so well. Is that that's just I guess it's um that you are able to you have it mic'd in the room or it goes direct into your dealio for the no squealio. Cuz if I have all my amps turned on in here, it sounds like we are inside a old transistor radio. It's so loud. God, that's gross my throat. So I'm drinking drinking hot tea with Eddie. That's Mike. Wow. Do you have it in like a jet in like a jet room or or in a separate room, which is really baller. I could do that here, Ryan. I've got a basement down not a, a garage down below that I could go and I could run a mic cable and I could run the cab and I can run everything down there and hit it and when it right have it all plugged in and and um, run it hot because in my studio 
although this mic doesn't handle it well at all, I can get those amps going incredibly loud and not bother any neighbors. It's really pretty uh, much a privilege to be able to do that. Like half stack on one side of the room uh, with a Mesa Boogie 50 Nomad. The other side of the room is a 80 watt PV solid state bandit. And then to split it up in the middle of the room is a uh, Super 210, I think it's 75 watt Fender. So that's a lot in one room of just guitar. But uh, um, what up, bonkers? So hold on, I'm probably, you guys know I can't, I'm not reading that fast. So usually use push pull. Um, yeah, I like push pull mostly too, Paul, but this just came in the system. Then it was, um, from cleaning out the Bartolini, helping with the Bartolini warehouse. So I was just like keeping it, I'm not going to change, switch it from, but you're right. Yeah, I agree a hundred percent push, push is the way to go unless it's already installed. <laughs> Check, 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 Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's way too much. Way, 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 Jesus. I think it's right here. Nope. Right there? Right there? Okay. Let's get some tone. Will me wear mountain sticks on my skin All the people that I've known And the places that I've been And you, yeah, you wore me down so thin When I was at the bottom You were kicking me down again Knew it's been a long time, a long time coming. I'm coming back around again. How do you like me now? You should have seen it, seen it coming. I'm coming back around. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Do you like me now? You kept me down Said I was good for nothing When push came to shove And I started shoving I turned it all around Do you like me now? Cause I felt the wind I knew change was coming And I knuckled down I hit the ground running Turned it all around do you like me now do you like me now sorry to scream do you like me now i swear i think there's another verse in there but i forgot it Thanks, man. Sounds nice. Okay, I appreciate you, dude. Uh, Seth, turn the interface up just a tiny, tiny bit. How bad is it? Because it could get way worse by me touching it at all. Is it slightly okay? <laughs> um, maybe I turn my mic down a tiny bit. I used to have all these like songs that I that were mine that I wrote and performed. But I just kind of got like tired of going out to the, um, to play them all the time. I mean, 
It's just I don't know. Sounds good already though. All right, all right. Yeah, sounds okay, right? I'll, I'll take I'll take okay, and try not to try not to make it worse because uh, as Ryan knows, actually as all you guys can all attest to, we all know how bad it's gotten. It's gotten terrible, but it's a good thing I can play this chord right here because this chord. That's the chord that brings the sex into your life. It's because of this note right here. That's the sex note. Because people are like, uh oh. Oh. Okay, that's, oh, he sounds okay. All right, here we go. First lyric. No open my selfish way. Life is ours, we live it our way. Don't use words I don't just say. And nothing else matters. Trust I see. Oops. Trust I see. And I find in you Every day for us something new Open mind for a different view And nothing, whoops And nothing else matters That's the chorus And nothing else matters So I was practicing these again, right? Oh, you see why I was practicing them, right? Because those things aren't easy, but gotta go wife heard that that <laughs> dude um yep she that's the sex cord it, it happens brother you can you can super trap me later for the for the loving for the fine loving you're getting yep sometimes you gotta play it you gotta play it when you feel it so um yeah not to let me turn off this let me turn off the weird reverb. Bah. Charles, Charles, what is going on with Charles tonight? I wish I had a friend named Charles, not a friend named Bill. Not a friend named Carl, maybe a friend that could come play guitar. I just need someone that I can chat with, someone that can do the spam, which control the digitals and do the kind of internet things. Sometimes I get it right Maybe that was the case tonight But I know, I know that tomorrow I'll fuck it up Cause you know that's Boy, that was out of key Cause you know that's just how the story goes 
I don't know. Um, yeah, guys, sorry about that. Woohoo! Done driving. What up, Michael Kraus? Chilling in the house. You came through. I'm sorry to disappoint you tonight. My my hair. My hair is a spiky three point eight. Yep, it was raining on my way home on my e-bike. So I don't expect you guys to, you know, to keep it real with me. It's a 3.8 kind of night, you know what I mean? But I'm just I'm just getting through it. I'm just getting through it. I know, I know. Eddie, that's what he saw me, and I was like, dude, I can't fix it. There's not enough gel in the house. There's not enough moose to moose this. So I just said, I'm coming, I'm going, I'm going live, y'all. I'm going live and we're doing it regardless. Because why? Why? Because my beard is a distraction, y'all. My beard is a major distraction now. You see, you see this? You see that, Paul. I mean, it's a junior, it's a junior beard compared to Paul over there. But hey, I'm, it's a distraction. Nonetheless, people are distracted. Yeah, raining, 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 and more rain. And then it's slippery as hell. People are mad at you regardless when you're riding an e-bike. They're mad at you because you're it, you're enjoying yourself and it's sunny. They're mad at you because you're a little bit in their way because it's raining and you're driving with... Anyway, it's crazy. One of these days. One of these days, I'm going to catch up with that guy. There was a guy that tried to run me up. We came to a Hollywood stop together at the same time, like, Err! and then... I put my foot down, and since I'm a bicycle, and you're a truck, I, and this is Fairfax, which is a bicycle town, literally the home of where the mountain bike was invented, okay? So I'm just going, I'm going into the bike lane, so I get into the bike lane, and he, like, he pulled out at the same time as me into the intersection, and, like, kind of came at me, and I get into the bike lane, and I, I just ride, I just kept riding, and he came over and was like, um, you had a stop sign, and I was like, we both had a stop sign, you dick. And we both made it through to just freaking go, you know, do you want to pull over and we can have a stop about, to have a talk about, you know, a stop sign and me being on a bike and you being in a truck and how we both did a Hollywood stop. And we can go through all of this if you'd like to in detail and then decide whether or not we want to punch each other. Okay. Cause that's, that's what I would prefer to do if you just would take the time to pull over your truck right now. But he did not do that. And he, um, like drove kind of away for a minute. And then uh, e-bikes are amazing. Cause if there's any traffic, you catch right up, right up to somebody. So I kind of caught up to him and I wasn't like threatening him or anything, but he like swerved in towards me. Like he was going to hit me <laughs> a couple of times to where then I kind of backed off and I was getting, I collecting myself. I was like, what, this dude's freaking crazy. And the woman that was driving behind him in a red BMW pulled up to me. She's like, oh, sir, are you okay? I saw that. I'm, we'll help I, when, you know, she didn't say she had it on camera. She would have said she had a dash cam. I would have said, I don't know what's going on. But um, I said, no, it's cool. At this point, I'm kind of mad. And then we're, uh, then he's kind of taken off a little bit. Then I catch up with him again. And again, we go through this altercation because now I'm mad. I pull up like right up to his window and I'm like, hey, do you want to, you know, do you want to talk about this? Let's talk about this. Why don't you pull over? And then he just started screaming and yelling. Then he drove off like not to get away. And um, I just said to myself, if I ever see that dude and I know he's probably somewhere around town. All right. Uh and it really doesn't matter. I mean, I've had my ass beat before, and I probably wouldn't go after him if he's a huge bodybuilder, but it wasn't like he was an older man, kind of like me, driving a little green Toyota, not extended cab. I know exactly the truck if I see him. And so it's just like, dude, we're going to have a little chat, okay, about bicycles and cars and about you swerving at me when I'm on a bike and about, you know, if you feel that offended by the confrontation of a bicycle and a truck going head to head and you're that angry and you're driving the truck and you don't want to get out and just settle it like toe to toe or at least have a talk about it, then you're a punk ass. That's how I feel that um, uh, having the truck right was the only separator there. It was like a, um, I have a truck almost like I have a gun. Right. I'll, I'll run you over. Well, no. Well, yeah, I'll pretty much avoid your truck. And I end up jumping into the back of your truck, climbing around the side and punching you in the face like uh, Jason Bourne. Ooh, 
y'all. I might do that if I see that. I'm going to do a Jason Bourne maneuver and ride my bike and jump up onto the truck and then come around the side with my water bottle. I already had it figured out. I was going to hit him with my water bottle. It's it's a metal water bottle. That's what you do. So, <clears throat> yep, I know, I know. I was a little bit upset, and I was actually, my wife and I were talking about it last night. She's like, uh, we were doing this game where we go through these questions, and it said, you know, what do you need to forgive? And I said, I probably need to forgive that guy for doing the altercation with the bicycle a thing, because when I see him, I'm probably going to have a some kind of problem. And I could, you know, you might in the future hear about me going to jail or something or something happening because of that scenario. And I'm hoping I can control myself when the moment arises. But shall it arise? I've already told myself. I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, guys, like heavy duty stuff. And this guy is someone that I need to talk to face to face and let him know that's not cool. And there's a good chance that he's some kind of ex green beret Marine or whatever it is. You never know, right? There's a good chance he's not too, but I'm just saying regardless, either way, um, that'd be messed up if I got choked out, if he just totally took me out or he did some kind of karate move and blinded me forever. And I was like, Oh, don't talk to me. Oh, and I was like, Oh, that would suck. But I'm going to do this guys. Just remember this one. You just got to go like that. Be ready. We all learn that early on in life. You just learn this one. Yeah, you can't mess with me. What? Shark boy, puppet boy in the house. Yeah. That's my boy. Dude, we had so much fun today. It was great. It was... Why'd you leave me at home, Presley? Well, because, Sherman, you weren't supposed to come on the field trip today for the high schoolers. It's just high schoolers. It's not... Sherman, Sherman, because that's one of the reasons why Sherman, we wouldn't be able to keep track. Sh come, Sherman, you, that's one of the reasons why we wouldn't let you go on the field trip is because yeah, he's, he's out of control. So, yeah, it was it was fantastic. So, oh, guess what we're doing at high school, guys? We're building a guitar building shop. I should make videos of that. Get pin router. I'm getting one. Um, thickness sander. We're getting one. Spindle sander. We're getting one. Um, what else are we getting? A bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. A bunch of different um, vices and grip vices and all kinds of cool stuff to start having these kids make guitars from scratchy scratch, which means me making them from scratchy scratch too. Kits always because I'm an ADD kit lover. I'll always order when I can afford it. I'll order 10 sets of everything, <clears throat> everything I need and build, build, build. Cause it's so much fun. I love it. I get a bunch of guitars and get to play a bunch of guitars and then you sell them. And if you're good at building them and you have belief in what you're doing, then uh, they will sell, uh, but you got to do a good job. Don't build a bunch of bullshit and sell it out there. Cause that ain't right. You'll end up on ridiculous reverb listings and no one wants that. That would be, terrible right that's why when you put it out there and it has your name on it you got to build it good so mm -hmm. dude uh here's a pepsi cola you seem to be angry today and i dude i hear you international and i appreciate you for bringing me down off the ledge bringing me down off the ledge but you swerving at me in this truck I'm on a bike with a rose gold, AKA pink bicycle helmet. Okay. So, and not, it, it, there's, you know, there's a level of, Hey bro. Don't, don't swerve at me. Or if you're going to swerve at me, just drive off. There's no, there's no more. I guess I, right. I, I did feed into the. Uh, extension of the altercation by rolling right up and sticking my face kind of in his window but you know that's a presley thing and it's just in the when it's in the jeans you gotta wear them right yeah i can't always just take the jeans off um yeah i'm not sure I, you know and i've been a, a long time ago i've been i'm so happy now in my life and 
for, you know, mostly, but I've been an angry guy in the past. So I get it. Like, get out of my way, you damn stupid bicycles. Oh, saving the environment. Ah. Here's the thing. For most folks that are not in California, I'm not tripping. Drive your car. Drive your car because we're only on the last bits of fossil fuels anyway. We're all going electric. But um, And I'm not tripping. But in California, for every one person that we can just take out of, off the cars, you're just now off the cars. You're not doing cars at all anymore. Um, it really does help. So um, bicycles are a really good thing. And um, I wish that people would champion them more. Um, and, you know, at least not harass the bicycle people so much. Uh, and I'm not even a bicycle guy. Really, I'm a, I'm a commuter on a bike. I ride my bike to school and back because it's way faster. If you park in the parking lot, you got to park way out there and walk all over with all your stuff. I park right up next to my class. Sure, boom. I'm in it. Doing it. I know. Super, super time saver is just the way to go. Time savings is a such a huge factor in your happiness overall. Am I right? Right? If you can cut out if people that have long commutes, right? Or if you can figure, most people have that have long commutes have figured a way to make them sustainable by getting something from them, like doing some kind of audio book or whatever the hell it is to get through the commute. But I say if you can eliminate that commute completely, that would be a fantastic thing. Would anybody in the house, all of us, like to see a update on my kit build? Kaka! Hello! Is anybody out there? Does anybody have access to their keyboard and could type whether or not they'd like to see... Sorry, that's an annoying. Could type whether or not they would like to see an update to the build that I've been doing, which is the Vibe Works build. Vibe Works. Whoa, what? Did something just appear in the corner magically, or was that already there? Was I? There. Was I always there, guys? I wasn't always there. That just happened. That, where did you come from? You're a magical me. And how, how do you even exist? And you sparkle like that guitar right there. Oh my. Crazy, right, Michael? Yes. Kit build. Kit build. Yes. Yes. Seth. Seth sucks at building kits. Yes. Yes. Let's see how bad it is. Okay. All right. This I got to kind of balance, y'all, because it ain't bolted up yet. But I want you to see where we're going. Doopy doop doop. This is where we're going. So that's the body. Looks okay, right? I mean, not bad. I mean, the back, just to be fair, that the back is there. Um, it's going to check nicely. This paint is going to check with like lines in it with the wood grain. I got enough clear on there. I was very stoked about that enough clear um, to where it's seeped in and I have all of the wood grain that I that I think is cool looking and that it looks like you're gonna get the the lines of totally styly Mustang but here's the thing do you guys and gals because you know we're 25% gals over here at Presley Customs um, yeah, I know. I don't know how it happens. It just that's just what I'm reading in the demographics or whatever. I get in the analytics. There's the analytics are telling me that the chicks are digging it. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, do, the neck. Do you guys remember the neck? How white that maple was, and how white it was anybody remember how white it was we were looking at it 
when I first got the kit with the overhead camera. We were looking at it with the overhead camera and it was a mystical moment. It was just after we got out of the forest. The forest of Shredderville. Everybody, yes. Um, Jessica Al... Uh, J always, well, yes, she's one. I'm one of the lurkers, I know. I think while she's making new protein bar recipes and all that stuff, she's totally... Do you guys remember how white the neck was? It was white. It was white maple. White is white, white, white. Uh, my wife says, leaving work now. Said, That's good, because it works a ways away. Doing doing my show. She knows that. She knows that we're doing the show. She knows, But it's been a busy day. She might not remember. Okay, yes, thank you, International, for remembering how white the neck was. White as white maple can be. What I, what I used was this, because I got a good deal on it. This was on sale. Less mess, two in one. It's like an applicator, so sponge dealio. And I got dark walnut, right? This is after a lot of lot of applications. Now I still have to polish out the frets, and but it's going to be really dark cappuccino looking. On that blue. I'm going to drop this bridge. Hold on, I'm trying to bring this in over here so you can see both the colors together. Ouch. Dark on blue it'll lighten up a tiny bit when i do the last little bit of um, um last little bit of rubby rub with the steel wool and then i'm going to spray it with a little bit of clear and it'll be good to go finally i got to cut the headstock shape but i've been only designing very very ugly headstock shapes lately so I don't know if I'm just going to cut this one kind of like a fender one, I think. Just so I can move on with life and uh, just do it. You know what I mean? Um, I think that's what I might do. Just because I get that. Because I want to build this guitar and get this one done and just play it. But uh, carve that thing? Yes, I'm going to carve it. Oh, you mean carve the body? No, I already painted the body. But I am going to carve a future body that I'm already building at school or work school. So we're going to start to do carve tops, Les Paul Jr. styles. We're going to start to do SG styles. We're going to do a bunch of uh, glued necks. We're going to do a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, Restain. I will need to restain the, yes, absolutely, when I cut the headstock side, I'm going to have to go through that, and I'm going to have to, but because those edges soak up so much, and I'm just going to hit it, I'll hit it before I sand it back, and it'll soak it deep into the wood. Does that make any sense? So I'll cut it, and while I'll, uh, while it's all uh, fresh cut, I'll blob it, blob it, blob it, blob it, blob it, and that wood will suck it all in. I'll let it dry. Then I'll sand it back. And then I'll hit it again. And it will go, it'll go really quick on that edge. And plus, it's the side edge. It should be fine. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm, I'm think I'm, huh. I designed a headstock shape that was just uh, really ugly. All right, before. We've already ridiculed me for it. We've gone through the ringer on that. We don't need to go back there. That was a dark place. It was a dark time here at Presley. But I showed you guys the ugly headstock. So we went from there. And now I uh, am going to try to do a different headstock. But now I'm all, it's very difficult to come up with a fresh new idea. Something cool and um, distinguishing and makes you different and not the same. And 
but it all is the same. They're all guitars, and I just want to make guitars. I don't want to worry about headstock shapes. So it's just been a struggle for me. But, uh, yeah, so that's my update on that build. It is going to be cool. The pickups are, are really cool. I did the... Um, shielded the pit guard got these custom deliverance which i really got to send that guy guy check he's been super patient but i just have been busy big mama jamma pole pieces yeah what up har what up jimba what's going on yeah this is a big old mama jamma right there big daddy um, and shielded it off. Make sure it's quiet. Also shielded the interior of the cavity with the uh, shielding paint. Of course, knocked over the bottle of shielding paint while I was doing it, which was really stupid. Um, yeah, that was really dumb because I ended up with uh, like wasting almost the whole bottle. I buy just a small bottle and it lasts a long time if you don't spill everything out of it but that's just the way it went that's the way it went let's see here should, should we play a little bit more Presley's here all right let's see here what we got I'm going to try to do a, like a bow up. Sorry, not that track. A ballad track, I think. Let's try to do a ballad track. If we can find one. Let's see what this one is. How does that sound? Is it... This one's not coming through? Hold on. Let me see if... Hmm. Turn it up. Okay. Tell me if that works. Okay, so we got a thumbs up. I guess that's okay. Turn up the backing track. Right over. Terrible note. 21 frets, yeah. Wait, any more than... So sometimes I do the 22 just because I like the extension on the neck for uncertain guitars. I don't ever really use it. I 
have this thing telling me what scales to use, and it's saying use um, Aeolidian at the 10th fret and Aeolidian at the 12th fret. A lot of wrong notes there, guys.
wow, that ended exactly on the hour. That was pretty good. <laughs> uh, that was that was freaking funny. Uh, yep, sound just like Jimmy. <laughs> that made Eddie so mad. He's like, it's, it's, it's so dark. That's his friend. So, like, I mean, uh, hey, guys, you guys are amazing. I know I'm alive. Yeah. You guys are amazing for hanging out with me for a whole hour. It's craziness. This is unbelievable. Most people walk away from me in the first couple minutes. So I can't believe this has happened. And I can't believe it. It continues to happen. And I appreciate you guys so much. And I will see y'all on Friday night when we hang out. We'll be here for Guitar Safari. We're going to talk about guitar stuff we're gonna do all the fun oh dude for work this ain't work this is chilling dave i appreciate you so much for hanging out it's like coming hanging out with my friends because you guys are my friends and i love chilling playing some guitar drinking some delicious special tea so special tea makes me healthy makes me a healthy man drinking tea very very fit fit person fit almond milk almond milk yeah anyway dude you guys are all amazing thank you so much for coming through i will see you guys on friday night which with not with chatting with charles we're going to be with charles we're going to be chatting with charles but it's going to be guitar safari so i don't know why i keep saying stuff like that i get stuff wrong all the time i can't